you don't know how old you are <laughs> until you get in one of those and you're out almost at the end of the jetty in Port Aransas. This thing performed very well yesterday. I had some issues which you're gonna see in the video. I'm also sunburnt on my knees. I don't know if you guys can see that. So right now guys, we are going to flush this thing out with uh, what's called salt off. So we're gonna use this and this little container, hook it up to the hose and flush it through the engine. I'm not gonna do that every time that I go out, but every other time I will flush it. So since this thing's gonna sit over the weekend, next weekend, cause I'm gonna go surf fishing, as long as the surf's good. Remember guys, if the surf's not good, then I'm gonna pull this out and head in the base. Um, so yesterday I put in an Aransas Pass at uh, Mickey's Bar and Grill right, right beside it. And uh, I had problems from, from the get go. And uh, a lot of problems mounting. I've got to mount my cameras before I take off in the water because trying to get these cameras uh, hooked into here while you're on the water and bouncing up and down and rolling is almost impossible. I've also got to use voice activation or my GoPro remote to turn these on because it's too much of a pain to come back here when you're fishing. Had some issues with this GoPro up here, not recording audio. The 360 camera battery went dead as pretty much as soon as I got on the water. I don't know why. So, uh, otherwise, first time I used the live well yesterday, and this thing worked perfectly. It kept my shrimp alive the whole entire time I was on the water. So I've got these ropes, as you can see right here, um, where I can tie around here, and then it won't actually fit in here, but I've got a clamp that's coming that will clamp like this instead of using my steering wheel like I did. But I've got, I've got a lot to learn, guys. That was the first time out. I've got to get organized, and I'm not organized. You know, uh, I've got to get a better camera for carrying my cameras. I, I, instead of that big bulky bag, I've got to find something that I could carry my cameras, which will be a lot easier to get to and move so I can get the other stuff. Um, so, you know, again, I put in an Aransas Pass at Mickey's, as you can see on the map here, and then I went straight up to Port Aransas. And, uh, you know, I, I lost one of these orange bumpers that go on here, which were $149 for two. I lost one, I had to order two more today. And then I lost a brand new Insta360 X3 battery, which is about 40 bucks. So yesterday it cost me about 80 bucks and lost stuff. Wait, no, 70 bucks a piece. So 70, 40, about $110 it cost me yesterday. And then the fuel and so on and so on. So I'm not disappointed in this thing. Uh, I need to, I pretty much set in one spot here and I kept my feet down here. I should have kept my feet up here because my legs are so sore right now, it's unreal. I haven't tried the swivel seat out there yet. I had a lot of problems yesterday. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> so this is probably not gonna be one of my best videos because I had audio issues, camera issues, uh, you name it, I had the issues. And so I'm trying to salvage everything that I can to come up with some kind of video for you guys. So uh, I put up a little preview of it on, um, Patreon for, for those of you who are interested in getting extra content. And remember, we got the Name My Sea Dew contest going on where you're going to win one of these. Oh, uh, where is it at? They're hidden up here, but a Pen Battle 3 combo, the whole thing. It's about 160 bucks. So all, all you got to do is join Patreon and then put your name underneath the post. And if I like it and I'm going to put it on this Sea Dew, you'll win. That's going until May the 1st, and if uh, nobody picks a name that I, I, I like, that I want to put on here, we'll just continue it until somebody does. I went all the way up to the Port Aransas South Jetty, trolled there, went to the North Jetty, threw a popping cork with live shrimp, and uh, this video is going to be the outcome of it. <laughs> it's not the greatest, one of my greatest fishing videos or anything like that, but I want to show you guys, uh, you know, what I went through out there on the water for the very first time. And uh, hopefully this weekend we'll be out surf fishing again. If not, surf's bad, we'll, we'll take this thing back out. And this time we'll put it probably in Packery Channel or something like that, not sure. But uh, 
You know, I had a lot of issues out there with getting my line broke by fish. I mean, every time I turned around, I was putting a new hook on. Uh, so, watch the video, enjoy it, and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because the more experience I get on this thing, the better it's going to be. And right now, you know, I, I've, I, I had a lot of issues yesterday. I even sucked up my fishing line yesterday, so you'll see that in the video. But let's get pull this thing out, run this salt off through it. I'm not going to record this. You guys enjoy the video. And hopefully next time I get this thing on the water, it, it'll be a better day. Trolling guys. I see fish down there, they just ain't hit. about the uh, audio uh, anytime I put that camera near the dashboard up on the sea for some reason it muffles out the uh, audio and then my big 360 camera battery went out right at that moment when I caught that sheep's head so the sheep's head were pretty thick right there on the north jetty right by where the uh, little ferry boat drops you guys off uh, that's where I was fishing at using a popping cork with about a four foot leader and some live shrimp. I kept catching them left and right and they uh, um, they kept breaking my line every time. I would have had probably within the first 30 minutes, I don't know, five or six of them. Uh, so that was a major issue. If you guys uh, let me know in the comments what you use, how you have a setup, uh, if you're running a popping cork with, uh, with sheep set to make sure they don't break your line. It was 20 pound uh, test braided, so I'm thinking I need to go with a leader line of like 50 pound or something like that. So let me know down in the comments.
guys, that was the first sheep's head that I've caught since I moved down here. Uh, now we're going to try to get another one. I'm just having all kinds of problems getting used to everything. How to do everything on this thing, man. Uh, it's going to take a few times before I finally get the hang of things. tell you man that scared me when I could only go five six miles per hour because something got sucked up in the line so the one thing I don't like about this is you've got to turn around a lot there perfect um, like right here I want to turn around because I don't think I can anchor here because it's too deep You definitely don't want the line to get back there because it'll get sucked up. So we're using a fierce three pen, a fierce three, uh, which is free lining some shrimp. That's all we're doing, man. See if we get some more of them uh, sheep's head. That one was pretty good size. That's the first one I've caught in a long, long time, man. Uh, it's been the last time I caught a good sheep's head was back when I had my boat before we sunk it out there. Um, but that's the last time. So the, lack, the line slacked up. Oh! Oh, do I got him? Well, I had him. He let go. Oh, my live well turned on. I heard something back there and I was like, am I sinking? And my live well turned on. So, if that's the only fish we catch today, man, after what I went through, hey, I'm all for it. Come on, you big beast. But uh, this is what it's going to be like, guys. We're going to be out here, and i got to figure out a good audio, uh, a way to get really good audio. I hope you guys appreciate these videos. Make sure you check out our Patreon page because we've got a contest going on. Uh, giving away a, a free Pen Battle 3 combo edition, like one of the ones back there. One's a Spearfisher, and the blue and white one's a combo. Um, all you got to do is name my sea -Doo, whatever name I pick. Now, if I don't pick a name by the time the contest is due, it'll just keep rolling until somebody gets a name that I want to put on here. I even got seaweed up here. So the line slacked up, and I don't have anything. So maybe we need to move a little further down that way. So let's go ahead and do that.
long as we don't hit a rock. So we'll get way down here and we'll drift. So this is the North Jetty, guys. The South Jetty is over there. I tried to troll by the South Jetty and I didn't get anything. So the North Jetty, I'm, I'm trying, there's hardly no people over here. So I'm trying to, uh, to uh, catch some sheep's head or whatever's up here that'll bite flounder, whatever I can catch. And it's all catch and release today. I'm not gonna take anything home. I gotta get me a fish bag and all that stuff. down this coastline here hopefully get something figure a way to anchor like it's 18 feet deep here I don't think I could just put my anchor out I mean maybe so I don't know Calling me this whole time? That's because you didn't send me your coordinates today, and you haven't tried to call me one time. I've been freaking, I had all kinds of problems. 
Uh, like what? Oh my God, I sucked my damn fishing line right up in my damn propeller system. Oh shit. And it would no, and I, look, I, I launched in Aransas Pass, so I had to go all the way to Port Aransas, and I could only go seven miles per hour on the way back. So I was kept doing the IDF, which reverses it and blows it out. And the third yeah. time it blew the shit out and I was able to go over seven miles per hour. So I went right back to the jetties again and went fishing. <laughs> Oh, wow. God. You didn't send me your coordinates today. Oh, I just forgot. It was the same coordinates, uh, the same one. I went to the same place. I mean, so many things went wrong today. It was just unfreaking real. I was getting frustrated. I was like, I've got to get organized and figure out how I'm going to carry my tackle uh, because it's a nightmare to get to my tackle. And I trolled with a silver spoon, but nothing was hitting the silver spoon.